can position now. But uh, there's a view then of our front row starter, Dylan Bies. And uh, all the grid now filtering through. This is the final, final race of the 2016 Road Tax Max Euro Challenge. And uh, lots at stake here. Second in the championship at stake. It looks like it's going to be a straight fight between Mark Kimbrough, who starts on the inside of row four, and Oliver Caldwell, who starts on the outside of row six. Let's run through the grid again for you. Enzo Valent starts on pole position with Tim Weiss alongside Lucas Sanna and Tomido Bergmeier are row two. Jean Nomblo and Killian Meyer are row three. Mark Kimber and Laszlo Toth are row four. Adam Smalley and Phil Doe are row five. Joe Phillips and Ollie Caldwell are row six. Hugo Anderson and Antoine Percival are row seven. Hannes Moen and uh, coming up our semi are row eight. Row nine is Andre Walter and Roy Laffer. Row ten, Brian McDermott and uh, Henry Young. And then it's uh, Leone Cord, Clement Theobald, Conor McCarthy, Arnold Militia, Glenn Barberlo, Yasin Ferrati, Pepin Klejeveld rounds out the field. There's the grid on the screen for you. 14 laps is going to be the race distance. Lots at stake then. We already have a champion. Who's going to finish second? Who's going to finish third? Well, Mark Kimber, two very different approaches here. Mark Kimber, and he just wants to drive his own race, and he's not too concerned about points. He'll just see where he finishes. Oli Caldwell just wants a world finals ticket, which, of course, he needs to finish in the top three to get. So uh, he said he's not going to take any risks in this race. So interesting to see that uh, second and third is seen by Ollie Caldwell as a, kind of the same, really. And uh, Mark Kimber, not interested in uh, speaking too much about it. A very cool character. So to the left of your picture then will be Enzo Valente, who is the pole sitter. Dylan Byes starts alongside. 14 laps of racing about to get underway here at Salbury for the final time in juniors. They're off and racing. And Enzo Valente leads them through turn one. Going second is Lucas Stunner. Then it's Dylan Byes. And uh, Jean Nombleau, I think, has gone through to fourth place as they head through turn number two. And all the drivers through safely. Good job there. Leone, oh no, I spoke too soon. We have uh, one driver running into trouble, one of the CRG drivers. Leone Claude was delayed, but uh, she's still with the Packers. I think we've had a, a change for third down at turn five. Certainly leading is uh, Valence then from Bice. And uh, I think third might be uh, Jean Nomblo. Let's uh, wait and uh, pick up the picture as they come through. Well, that is the number 65 of Jean Nomblo in third place. Fourth is uh, Tamino Bergmeier. And fifth is Lucas Dunner. So it's Valente, Bies. Then it's uh, Jean Nomblo. Then it's Bergmeier. Then it's Dunner. Then it's Mark Kimber. So Mark Kimber has made a good start. Ollie Caldwell is in 10th place as they head up towards turn two. There goes the change of lead. Dylan buys up the inside of Enzo Valente, so he's not waiting around. Goes straight past and behind there's been more changes. Tamino Bergmeier goes through to third. Jean Nomblo, I think, is... Uh, got, well, he's lost third. I think he's still in fourth place. Mark Kimber has gone through to fifth. They all come up towards the static camera now. And Killian Meyer up the inside of, uh, who would that have been? That might have been Lucas Dunner then. He's gone past, but he didn't make the move stick. He's lost another place as a result. He's going to get that one back on your screen. You can see the two leaders then, Dylan Bice and uh, Enzo Valente as they head up towards the last couple of corners. Third place, Jean Nomblo. In fact, no, it's not. It's Tomino Bergmeier, sorry. Then it's Nomblo. Oh, and Killian Meyer trying to go up the inside of Lucas Dunner. Couldn't quite make the move stick. He's got Laszlo Toth just behind him, and Adam Smalley is in there as well as they all head up towards turn one. Ollie Caldwell trying to go past his countryman. There's Mark Kimber in shot behind uh, 
Jean Nomblo. Oh, and the number 30 running wide, Tamino Bergmeier. He's going to lose two places. So Jean Nomblo goes through to third. Mark Kimber goes through to fourth place. Uh, the gap to the two leaders is around 1.2 seconds as now Mark Kimber takes third place away from uh, Jean Nomblo. So Mark Kimber up to third. Now he's going to try and chase down the two leaders. This not good news for Ollie Caldwell, who is in 10th place. Let's uh, see if he's been able to make any more progress. So we have two leaders, then a chasing group of three carts. Then we have everyone else. I think Ollie Caldwell has made a move on someone. He's now behind Adam Smalley, who is in turn behind Killian Meyer with Laszlo Toth in sixth place. They head across the start finish line the confirmed order then buys Valence, Kimber, Nomblo, Bergmeier, Tough. then it's Killian Meyer, Adam Smalley, Ollie Caldwell, Lucas Dunner has dropped to 10th and there's more changes for positions behind where we're focusing Adam Smalley has made another position and he's gone through to seventh place he followed uh, Killian Meyer past uh, Laszlo Toth Ollie Caldwell also gained a position as well. Now Adam Smalley goes past uh, Killian Meyer. There's the move. Oh, and has someone gone off? Well, that might have been uh, Adam Smalley off because Ollie Caldwell seems to be the one leading that train now. And uh, Killian Meyer has, is slowing and is letting carts through. So perhaps he has a problem. Well, I couldn't quite say what happened there. It was uh, hard to... Uh, see from the distance even on the screens it was hard to see what happened but Dylan Byes still leads up front from uh, Enzo Valente Mark Kimber is third fourth place is Nomblo then it's Tamino Bergmeier Oli Caldwell then getting closer to uh, his rival in the championship Mark Kimber he's got a gap of uh, 2.3 seconds to that battle ahead of him as uh, behind, I think, Hannes Morin was trying to make a move which didn't quite come off. Laszlo Toss is dropping more places. Oh, no, and I think that's problems for Lucas Dunner, who's come to a stop on the exit of turn three. And uh, that's a real shame for him. He's driven it so well all weekend. But on your screens, then, that is the battle for third we are looking at being led by Mark Kimber who is chasing down Enzo Valenta. Mark Kimber has just gone purple in the second sector. So he's absolutely flying at the moment. His sector's beaten by Ollie Caldwell, who's going even quicker. So Ollie Caldwell going quick as well as they head up towards the last corner then. The gap's all coming down. Mark Kimber, let's see what the gap is to Enzo Valent. Well, he's almost halved it as he sets a new fastest lap. It's immediately beaten by Ollie Caldwell. The top five now are, are split by uh, just two seconds as they head through turn four for the sixth time. Ollie Caldwell needs the battle to happen ahead of him to have any chance, really, because he's got the pace, but he's not. He's only a couple of tenths quicker than the guys ahead of him, and not half a second. So uh, a battle would uh, really do him some good, and. That may come with Mark Kimber catching the two leaders. Jean Nomblo now in the toe of Mark Kimber. Sets a new fastest lap as, a, well, I think that's Lucas Dunner pulling into the pits. And it's a shame his weekend has ended that way because he's driven so, so well throughout the heats and the pre-final. There's Mark Kimber in shot then. That's Enzo Valent ahead of him. Oh, and that's a move, I think, from Joe Phillips. Joe Phillips up the inside of Phil Doer. He's now behind Hannes Morin and Laszlo Toff, who's going backwards. So Laszlo Toff not in a good race, but change for second. Up ahead. It wasn't on your cameras, but wasn't on your screen, sorry. Oh, but Mark Kimber loses two more. Well, there's now the uh, screens picking up the uh, action. So Mark Kimber had gone into second, but Enzo Valent came straight back past uh, as did John Nomblo, and now they're all queuing up on the inside, heading down towards turn five. All of this allowing Ollie Caldwell to get closer. It's also allowing uh, Dylan Vice to have a very, very comfortable lead as Mark Kimber loses another place to uh, what I think is Tamino Bergmeier. So, lap number seven then, and uh, Dylan Vice looks 
pretty comfortable at the moment. You'd say it's going to be hard for him to lose it from here unless he hits any issues. But who is going to finish second at the moment? It's Enzo Valente. Third place then. That's Jean Nomblo. Fourth is Tamino Bergmaier. And as Mark Kimber looks over his shoulder, he can see that Oli Kulbrow's chasing him down and Mark Kimber up the inside of Tamino Bergmaier. So Mark Kimber then through to fourth place. Oli Caldwell now right with this queue of carts and he's got behind him Laszlo Toth. I think I might have called Laszlo Toth going backwards so it wasn't him. As uh, Is that Oli Caldwell passing or being passed? It's Oli Caldwell being passed then. Laszlo Toth goes through into sixth place. He's now got Tamino Bergmeier just ahead of him. And there comes the move then. You wouldn't have seen it on your monitors, but there's the move now. Oli Caldwell follows him through on the exit, or does he know? Well, that's the kind of attitude we were expecting from Oli Caldwell. No risks. Oh, and no, is that Laszlo Toft running wide? I think it might have been as uh, Oli Caldwell comes through and uh, Tamino Bergmeier retakes fifth place again. Dylan Bice comes across the line to complete lap number eight and his lead is now 3.3 seconds Enzo Valente there in second place but look at the battle for second Valente is now defending Nomblo queuing up behind him Mark Kimber has nowhere to go but the outside and uh, Mark Kimber now just coming out of turn four should get a good run as we'll switch to the uh, static camera any second. Well, there's a good view then to see what's going on. And there goes Mark Kimber then, pulls out the slipstream up the inside of Jean Nomblo. So, oh, but he can't make the move stick. So Mark Kimber stays in fourth. And, uh, well, the battle for second in the championship getting so, so close now as uh, Tamino Bergmeier defends. Caldwell is within touching distance of Mark Kimber. He can see him just ahead but he's got Tamino Bergmeier in the way and there goes Mark Kimber up the inside then he now takes third place away from John Numblo. Oli Caldwell won't take any risks he says but I think he's gonna go past Tamino Bergmeier as we go up to turn two hopefully we stay with this battle watch Oli Caldwell there he is second in that queue will he go to the inside well he's looking to the inside but he couldn't make the move as uh, Tamino Bergmeier had already figured out what he was going to do. Mark Kimber is heavily defending further up the road. But that's the battle then between Bergmeier, Caldwell and Toth that we're looking at on the screen. As we go down towards turn five, Oli Caldwell desperate to get past. But Tamino Bergmeier defending. He can't find a way through. Once Oli Caldwell gets through, he can then chase his championship rival, Mark Kimber. But he's got Laszlo Toth coming past then. So Laszlo Toth through. So Oli Caldwell now down to seventh place. Although the battle for the lead is non-existent, we have a great battle for second in the race and a great battle for second in the championship going on. It's great to have all your company on the live stream. Thank you for joining us and you're being treated to a fantastic race here at Salbury live on Telemundi Media. So through the first corner then, Kimba. And there in third place he has Nomblo just behind and uh, further back Oli Caldwell now has pressure from uh, Hannes Morin you can see how close Morin is on the screen now he's right there well uh, will there be any more changes down at turn 5 our static camera will pick it up yes Laszlo top up the inside of Bergmeier is this Oli Caldwell's chance to get through it is and Caldwell through as a uh, well, there was a spin for someone. Bergmeier came off and uh, Hannes Morin had to take avoiding action. Did, only saw the aftermath of that. Didn't quite see what happened. But uh, the result is the new order is Baez, Valent, Kimber, Nomblo, Toth, Caldwell. Then it's Van Berlo. Well, that, that's Glenn Van Berlo. He has driven an absolutely fantastic race. Glenn Van Berlo up to seventh place. He's got Hannes Morin just behind then it's Hugo Anderson, then it's Joe Phillips, and behind Joe Phillips, let's get the order, it is the number 28, which is Phil Doer, that's the top 10, looking further back, we have uh, Laurie Lepper, Ryan McDermott, Clement Theobald, Antoine Percival, Arnold Militia, Leone Claude, Adam Smalley, Yasin Ferrati, Andre Walter, rounds out the top 20. Well, Kimber, defending there from... Uh, 
Jean Nomblo, as you saw, behind. Ollie Caldwell, I think, is going to work with Laszlo Toth here. There's a gap of around, well, it was one second. It's uh, around two or three cart lengths now as uh, they make their way down to this uh, tricky left-hand corner. Now two corners left. We only have a matter of uh, about two or three laps to go when they cross the line. Next time it will be two to go, in fact, as Dylan Byes heads across the line. Here comes the battle for second, and it's getting closer and closer. Mark Kimber trying to chase down Enzo Valenti's bringing Jean Numblo with him. But is Jean Numblo going to try and move up the inside? Well, he almost thought about doing it. Numblo is now defending from Laszlo Toth. And uh, Jean Numblo taking a very tight line through turn four. That's going to make him vulnerable as they head down towards turn five. Here they come then, Mark Kimber. Oh, and Mark Kimber jinking to the outside. Ollie Caldwell's tried to go wide as well. Well, it's getting very, very close for second. Five in the mix as we await for the last lap board, which will be shown next time round at the moment. And I can't promise you it's going to stay like this, but it's Valent, Kimber, Nomblo. And then it's Toth and Caldwell. Two corners to go on this lap. Then we'll see the last lap board. Oh, as Toth trying to uh, come up the inside of uh, Sean Nomblo there. Didn't quite work. Nomblo seems to want to settle for fourth place here, but I think Laszlo Toth and Ollie Caldwell want him to get on with it. As we go across the line, Sean Nomblo has uh, given up in his attempts to uh, go any further in this race. Mark Kimber still side by side then with Enzo Valent. Can he make it through? No, he's going to have another chance down at turn five. Ollie Caldwell could get the switch back on Laszlo Toth here. Well, here comes the two battles then. So it's Enzo Valent, Mark Kimber. Oh, and Mark Kimber to the outside. Ollie Caldwell to the outside as well. Can't quite make it through. So Enzo Valent doing a fantastic job to hold on to second. Ollie Caldwell's going to sneak past Laszlo Toth. So uh, Caldwell through. That's the leader you're seeing. Two corners to go. And. Uh, it's all on for second place still. I hope the cameras pick it up because Enzo Valent is heavily defending from Mark Kimber. The last win in the last win of the season in juniors is going to go to Dylan Byers, but who is going to finish second place? You're going to see a full-on drag race to the line as they exit the last corner. And uh, well, we're watching Dylan Byers, but second place was Enzo Valent. Mark Kimber was third. Jean Nomblo was fourth. Ollie Caldwell was fifth and well I was told only two points separated the pair so uh, what that does to the championship I am not sure because well I believe it would go to Mark Kimber with Ollie Caldwell third but provisionally before scrutineering and uh, for any post-race protests that should be the result but the race result, Dylan Byers takes the win by 7.2 seconds. Enzo Valent finishes second. Mark Kimber is third. Jean Nomblo is fourth. Ollie Caldwell fifth. Laszlo Toth is sixth. Glenn Van Berlo gained 18 places to finish seventh. What a fantastic drive from Glenn Van Berlo. You saw on the grid walk just how far back he was. There was hardly anyone behind him, maybe two carts. And he came through to finish seventh. Joe Phillips is eighth. Hannes Morin ninth. Phil Doer tenth. Then it's Hugo Anderson. Laurie Lepper. Antoine Percival. You saw the order there on your screens. Arnold Milizia 14th. Leone Claude. Ryan McDermott. Clement Theobald. Adam Smalley. Yasin Ferrati. Andre Walter. Then it was uh, Henry Jung. And uh, behind that, the non-finishers. Pepe 